What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we got some big news. We got an IRS announcement that I want to bring to your attention because I know a lot of people are waiting for their tax returns, where they're at, where's their money. So I have a big update on that. We have some new uh, updates on the stimulus package. So I want to break down what's going on there. Also want to address a little bit on social security towards the end of this video as well, because I know a lot of people are asking, hey, what about us? So got some news updates on that as well. So let's get right down to it. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. But let's get right into the update. First, Democrats have been telling President Biden that his message, it needs to change. They have gone on record recently in public and let the Biden administration know that the Build Back Better Act is dead and something has to take its place. And here's the worry. Inflation is still rising and nothing seems to be slowing it down. We are still dealing with COVID and honestly, time is the only thing on our side is the more time goes by, COVID cases seem to fall. So that's good. Now, more people are being uh, you know, infected, which means they are gonna have a natural immunity. Again, this is good, as long as we do not see hospitalizations and deaths. Right now, Democrats worry that unless the Biden administration's messaging changes, they're gonna have a tough time during the midterm elections in November. So here's what I can tell you. Right now, we're, we're in the middle of February, okay? So we got March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, We've got eight months. We have eight months to go before the elections. And Democrats are already saying they are extremely worried that right now nothing is getting done, which is hurting their chances of getting reelected. So expect major changes. Now, here's just part of the issue. What we are seeing is many people are trying to push their own agenda. We know progressives are still trying to find ways to pass the Build Back Better Act, or at least pieces of this agenda. The only problem is they don't have enough support to get anything passed. Their hope initially was that inflation would somewhat you know, come up, level off, and they could somewhat pass you know, some of their agendas. It hasn't done that. We haven't seen that but they had a plan B. I wanna address this because this is what is extremely important. Progressives plan B, and this was something that Democrats agreed to as well, was let's pass a smaller version of the Build Back Better Act. However, this ultimately got somewhat of a pushback uh, in December when Senator Joe Manchin pulled his proposal he had a proposal on the table for President Biden. President Biden didn't jump on it. Well, after uh, the holidays, Senator Joe Manchin ultimately pulled that proposal and said, no, we're not gonna pass this. This is not something that I even support now. Things changed. Well, so that hurt. Then Nancy Pelosi decides to come out. This happened about a month ago, where Nancy Pelosi said, a smaller version of the Build Back Better Act is possible but a standalone bill would not get the, the support of Democratic leaders. So here we are. Right now, passing a standalone bill is seen as the best option. But a standalone bill means Democrats have to use one of their budget reconciliation bills, which they are not going to do because they do not have enough budget reconciliation bills to pass all these different standalone bills. That's the problem. What provision do you pass? Whose agenda do you go with? And that's where lawmakers at this time can't come to an agreement is what's the most important thing? How do we draft the, the, the verbiage and the language to make sure it fits and get that passed? They don't know, and that's creating issues. However, right now we do have some relief that is coming. It's coming from two separate sources. The first one is states. States have enough money right now to send out some relief to their residents. The only problem is not every single state is doing this. Now, what I can tell you is that yes, some states are, money is slowly starting to come out, but the best way you're gonna get any relief is from your IRS tax refunds. These are the ones that are gonna help you out. Now, I have a big update for you in just a minute, but 
This is seen as key, okay? Because according to a few reports, they are saying that right now, moderate Democrats are looking at this. They're looking at the money that the American people are gonna get back. And if Americans get money back, they will likely spend that money, which is going to further cause additional inflation. Now, not only that, but today, our retail numbers came out and they were much different than we were expecting. We knew that retail sales declined in, De in December by about 2.5%. The expectation was for January that we were gonna see an increase of just 2.1%. However, retail sales rose by 3.8%. Now, the problem with these numbers is that this reiterates to moderates and that what they've been saying for months that inflation is here to stay. That is likely. Now, online shopping contributed to much of the increase that we did see, but consumers are expected now to buy more before prices increase even further. And if this happens, and I've told you this before, consumers are gonna push up retail prices because now they have more money. So retail stores have to increase their prices to somewhat hold on to their products. Now, as consumers push up retail prices, this is ultimately gonna cause additional inflation. And by increasing inflation, consumers are gonna spend more because they need to get these products before they go up even higher. So this cycle is going to continue and that creates major issues. But let's get back to the amount of money that the IRS is actually sending out because I think this is key. The IRS says that they have sent about $9.5 billion in refunds so far this year. However, money for the earned income tax credits and the child tax credit payments haven't gone out. They haven't gone out and there's a reason for this. I want to address why. The IRS says out of the $9.5 billion in refunds, the average refund amount for 2021 has been $2,201. Now, this is a decline in the 2020 numbers though. The average refund in 2020 was $2,000 $827. So we're seeing about $620, $626 less per person in a refund. This is an insane amount of money. Okay. $626. It's a, this is quite a bit of money. Okay. About $50 a, uh, a month on average. So here's what you need to understand. The IRS has been very clear about this specific law. It actually came out in 2015 that they can't issue tax refunds for filers that claim that the earned income tax credit or uh, the additional child tax credit payments, they can't send this out before February 15th. This was yesterday, okay? Now, the purpose behind this is so that it protects against fraudulent uh, claims and returns. The IRS says that these people that are claiming and earning an income tax credit or an additional child tax credit payment, well, they should see their returns hopefully the first week of March, okay? So we're about two weeks away from that. But the good news is the money will be coming out. So here's one of the problems. This additional money could potentially cause more inflation, but we wouldn't see this until the March, uh, CPI uh, reading comes out, which wouldn't come out until April. So again, this is the issue, is that lawmakers are looking at, okay, we have to pass more assistance, but at the same time, how much can we pass? Because we have to look forward. And what, what we're looking forward to is potentially higher inflation. If we get higher inflation, chances are the Federal Reserve is gonna raise rates even faster, which is gonna cause many issues. So we'll see what happens there. We do know, Lawmakers are considering a federal gas tax holiday. This is something that the White House uh, commented on yesterday as well, that they are considering it and it's on the table. But this morning, Senator Joe Manchin said, and I quote, no, I don't think that makes sense right now. It doesn't make any more sense than taking oil out of the strategic oil reserves, which is what President Biden did, uh, what, back in November? And it lowered gas prices just a little bit for, what, a few weeks? and then gas prices ultimately went up. So it doesn't do a whole lot, but it would help. Now, one thing I wish I could tell you right now is that more is coming, that the more assistance is coming, but the, the honest truth is it's not, okay? 
Now, this is the, this is the case that we're seeing. We have seen lawmakers discuss additional help for people on a fixed income, um, for people on social security. But the problem is that nobody wants to really push any new bills that could potentially lead to higher inflation because this would ultimately hurt them in the midterm elections. So unfortunately, here's the, the kind of crossroad we're at. Until we get answers on inflation, we may be stuck in limbo for, for quite some time. And I wish I could tell you that, oh, we're gonna have answers in March, but I don't expect we have answers in March. I expect we have more clarification today and until March, but I don't expect we have answers, okay? So as we get more information, I promise I will be here every step of the way. I will provide you with that news and those updates as soon as we get them. Just wanna thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next.